Welcome to Hailwood Academy English Department. Just a quick run through of some of the topics you'll be studying while at Hailwood in English. We'll be looking at Gothic literature, Dickensian England and the Victorians, 20th century theatre, Shakespeare and poetry from a range of cultures. So you'll have a vast array of topics to study during the year and you'll notice that all the English teachers are really enthusiastic about their topics. We all love books and we're really eager to find out what your favourite authors are and what books you might have read at primary school or at home during summer. We're also really looking forward to celebrating some key events during the year, including World Book Day and National Poetry Day, where you'll see an array of characters around school dressed up to celebrate a love of books. We're all really looking forward to meeting you in the English department. We're really excited to have you here in September. And I'm just going to hand over now to Miss Hillard, who's going to go through some of your key questions. Hello, Year 6, and welcome to Hellwood Academy. Obviously, you will probably have loads and loads of questions that you would like to ask about next year and what to expect from our wonderful English department. So I'm just going to hand over to you now and see what burning questions do you have about starting Year 7 at Hellwood Academy. Okay, Emma, do we have to use joined up writing? Although joined up writing looks absolutely beautiful, Emma, and that was an excellent question, you don't have to use joined up writing when you come to Hellwood Academy, but we do have very, very high expectations about your presentation in your book. Okay, and Karen? Did we get homework? Yes. Obviously, we all know how valuable homework is because that's your opportunity to show us in school that you've understood your learning journey for that week. So you do get homework and that will be once a week, which will be something that all of the English teachers set the same type of homework and then there'll be an optional task because your teacher might have thought you've done really really well at something and then they want to see you shine by doing that in your homework. Okay, Juliet, Nicola, which books do we read? Well, this is my favourite part because we have some really really exciting books in year seven. Obviously along with the books that we do in class and in which is tied into your learning, we have reading lessons as well. So you will have the opportunity to read some gothic fiction like The Woman in Black. You will have the opportunity to read books like Ghost Boys. You will also have the opportunity to read books like Wonder as well. Okay, any other questions? Maria? Miss, do we have the library lessons? Yes, we do. We have a really, really wonderfully stocked library downstairs and a fantastic librarian who loves to talk to children about their reading and to recommend competitions as well to accompany that reading. So you will have library lessons that are timetables into your English timetable and you'll also be encouraged to borrow books and that's fully stocked with all of the up-to-the-date books all of the time. Any other questions? Yes. Do we ever watch films? Well, it might be that you watch some clips that accompany some of the work that we're doing because we really, really believe in trying to get the visual learner to really, really sort of enjoy our English lessons. So what we tend to do is maybe show clips. So if you are reading, for example, The Woman in Black, we might show you a clip that accompanies that piece that we're reading just to help you to kind of imagine it even more. Anyone else? Yes, Emma? do we get to go on trips? We do, okay. So trips is obviously part of our English curriculum. So you might be really, really fortunate to go and see a play or you might be fortunate enough to go and see if David Williams, for example, if there's a production of one of the books that's going to be being read, you might get to the granny. The English department keep really up to date with these things, so if anything is coming out, we will try and organise trips for you. Yes. Do they have any clubs to do with English? We do, okay. So again, the, the extracurricular within the English department is absolutely thriving, okay. So we have, for example, a creative writing club that is run by Miss Byron Bentley. Okay, and the children who go along to that absolutely love it and rave about it. Any other questions? Heather? When do we start studying for our GCSEs? Okay, you don't actually start studying for our GCSEs officially till you are in year 10. However, we make sure that everything that we are learning builds you up to that point so that you have got nothing to be frightened of by the time you get into year 10. So all of those skills that you learn are transferable. Anything else, Emma? Do we use computers? Yes, again, 
we've got fantastic facilities in here and your teachers can book computer rooms for you. So if you're doing anything media based within your English lesson, it might be that you have got to come up with a PowerPoint to support an advertising campaign that we're working on, then yes, you will use the computers then. How long are our lessons? So lessons last for one hour, okay? And in that time, obviously, it's going to be fulfilled with lots of fantastic ingredients for doing English. Anything else? Okay, well, if you do have any more questions, please do get in touch with the English department and we'll be more than happy to help.